What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you guys my raw input on the first look at Scavenger's new PvPVE Battle Royale that just released. I got to get early access to it uh, when it first came out. Uh, right, Well, actually not right now anymore. You had to watch Twitch streams and get it a uh, drop if you have everything set up right in order to gain access to it. As of right now, while I'm making this video, it is live for everybody. So you don't have to get a Twitch drop anymore. You can just go to either Steam or Epic and get that started downloading right now. So what is Scavengers, you might ask again. Like I mentioned, it is a PvPVE Battle Royale setting kind of like a winter wasteland, post-apocalyptic. I kind of like to put it that way. Um, there's a lot of elements that I'd like to say are... Uh, similar to like Hunt Showdown mixed with Apex kind of. That's kind of my perspective on it. Uh, mixed with kind of more of a Borderlands style art st style element in that fashion. Just maybe it might be just because the way I have things set up to make the game run smoothly at this point. Because uh, obviously early access there is kind of, you know, some bugs. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. So loading this game up, I have it via Steam. As you can see, I was practicing my insane flicks via Aim Lab. <laughs> uh, but where is it here? Scavengers. Um, so I have it via Steam. You might have it through Epic. It depends. Whatever your game launcher preference is, preferably, I like Steam the most. Um, but either one, they're not. They're both not really bad at all. All right, so it is made by a smaller development company. I really haven't heard too much about uh, Midwinter, but Unreal Engine. Hit and click continue into your madre. <clears throat> All right, so yes, early access. Um, I did actually play this game in alpha. It was good and bad all at the same time i can definitely say this game is definitely making progress towards becoming a pretty good game i think uh, but for where it, what it came from from the alpha to now huge steps one thing i will say about this game a little similar to apex is you need to have a good solid team together to actually make this game not only fun um, just because, you know, playing with your homies is always fun. But just because you need cooperation. Unless everybody has a mic and they know what they're doing. So skill level wise, you know, some people might not know what they're doing. And then you're caught with somebody, you know, you got one dude out doing his own thing. Or, you know, you're trying to push a team and everybody's almost down. And then you can't find the last guy. Everybody respawns and then boom, you're all dead. So having a good solid team together that you play with regularly those are the kind of people that i would get to play this game to make it the most successful okay so really diving into it the uh, character you see here this is cali so when you first load in i don't even know if they still have it in the shop anymore uh but oh they don't huh? okay i see so when you first loaded in uh, you would, they gave you 1500 points day one of the earlier access, which was kind of nice because that gave you an instant access to unlocking one of these explorers. Um, I picked Kali just because I think the bows are OP in this game. I repeat that right now. The bows are OP. The shotguns are OP. If you hit your shot, same thing with the bows. You got to hit your shot and then they're OP. Uh, but you start off with Halden, uh, Valora, and Tarek. Those are your main three characters, and you have to buy the rest here. Uh, there's some cosmetic items, like I might buy this Keeper skin just because. Also got a double XP boost. Um, and then they give you, I guess it's a first legendary skin for uh, Valora, which is pretty dope. I like it. I like it. Um, anyways, going into different explorers here. So you can see 
each character has their own signature weapon and their own ability. So that's where I say elements of like, that's where I say elements of Apex come into play with, you know, how to plan out your strategy. How then there's, there's a lot of like secret, like hidden things that they don't explain. Howland actually, he's a healer, right? You can obviously see by he has a healing aura that uh, you can stand in and it heals your characters. But if somebody is down, you can actually res them instantly by activating your ability. So if you have two of your guys that are down, you'd be like, hey, group up, try not to die real quick. Because if you're doing like, if you're trying to fight one team and you get third party, then your two teammates get down, but then they're all distracted, you can go and just activate your ability right on them instantly and boom and bring them both on up so i'll dive into all four of these different characters here and what their signature weapons are and their abilities so Tarek, he's like the sniper class okay um and so you got here let me do this you have your different skins if you had different skins to unlock i bought a backpack that's the default backpack so it's kind of cool, some little cosmetics here and there, uh, your different keepers. These are just kind of like a cosmetic element that flies around you. If you've ever played Spellbreak, kind of similar to that, just flies around this that guy right there. Yeah, you got different emotes and stuff like that, right? Just like every game does now. You got your different executions. So if you catch somebody down, then you go to finish them, you'll perform an execution. Now, when you start off, you don't have these slots filled. We'll talk about those in just a second. Um, but, so your signature weapon. So, as you're progressing through the game, so you start off at level zero. Let's, let's put it that way. So, level zero or level one, you that's where you spawn out. And as you kill enemies and you finish objectives, you rank up. You unlock the ability to craft these items and crafting in game takes scraps which you find throughout completing objectives or through just looting we'll talk we'll talk about that and i'll show you guys some gameplay as well too when you first dive in you have absolutely nothing so you need to find something uh, but then there's different weapons you can choose to create as well that aren't your signature weapon so kind of like a sidearm if you want to put it that way um, you have also your throwable weapons, so you got grenades, a lot of different grenades. Right now I'm only tier 2, so I don't even have the tier 3 slot unlocked for different abilities. Thermal boost, these are other items that you get, so you got thermal boost, that does help you for, let's say, uh, if, you're, if you can't find a um, campfire to start up so that you can keep your temperature raised. Because one thing in this game is... You, you need to keep warm, okay? You will freeze, you will start to lose health, and you will die out. So, uh, ammo crate, and the second thing you get to unlock is when you're in tier 2. That one, obviously, like I said, it shows. Um, it's not like Call of Duty where you drop an ammo box and you refill all your ammo for that certain type. It gives you more of everything, <clears throat> which can be good and can be bad. It's got its benefits. It's also got its cons. Okay, and then the different talents. These are hard to upgrade. Um, and I don't know if they're permanent upgrades yet because I haven't even seen this. I think you might have to pick one or the other. But as of right now, you can see if I go to the different explorers that they all have different talents here. Okay, so like for instance, Tarek, for starting on him. Um, actually, I think these are all the same for the first one, aren't they? They are all the same for the first one. It's the tier twos where they change. The tier twos, like right here for Halden, you can see that defensively increases the explorer's defensive capabilities. And what that does is every damage to his sh shield is reduced. Um, right. And then if you go to Tark, you go to his too. tier two in the same slot for the defensive one. Uh, so you recover some shields after scoring a kill. So that's pretty dope, too, especially since he's a stay back. Uh, kind of a shooting style. So there's a lot of different ways to play different characters. So that's where, you know, I just got to find what suits your play style. Um, and then diving in a little deeper. So why are these locked? Why is this locked? You know, why are you saying that you only get 
you know, you only get the, you know, one one of these when you start off first. Well, that's because this game can get grindy, okay? So this game, you need to get different resources, okay? So that's what we're diving into next. So these resources, the main goal, I don't care if you get first place, okay? This, the, the, the way you get better and the way you get better weapons to take into further games is by extracting. So just because you're going to get 8th place, doesn't matter. If you extract, you get a bonus. You get 8th place, you get a bonus. You get 1st place, you get an even better bonus, right? Obviously. But you need to extract. And you'll see that in the gameplay video here that we'll play next. But what you have to do. So right now I'm only tier 2. You First you start off tier 1. Tier 1 you only get one slot to upgrade. Uh, these take time to upgrade. So as you can see I have 2 that are completed right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and collect those. So now I have different slots readily available. So for instance like. Let me go here. I just completed this uh, bionic augmentation. That takes 3 hours to research. So you have to have. You can see you have to have three hours of time that it's going to take for it to research. You have to have so much power. That's just kind of like so you can't just mass produce things all the time. Um, and then you have to get these different materials. These materials you get from different boxes that you get from extracting. Again, extracting. You need to extract. Important. Okay. So collagen, copper, iron alloy. Uh, what is that? Meteoric alloy, all of those are in your different materials that you get here. So um, these are very common. Obviously, these are more rare. What you can do if you get a lot of one item here, for instance, like you get a lot of copper. So if I want to sell or disassemble, I should say, if I disassemble these. So before I do that, so you see right here, because let's say I'm trying to get more collagen. Okay. Okay, so collagen, I either need to use nanites to buy it or I have to just get lucky and get it, right? So what you can do instead is you can come over here, right click, click dismantle. If you dismantle 10 of those, you just gained 100 nanites. Okay, so nanites, nanites are your currency basically for disassembling materials. So getting these other materials so that you can make, you know, collagen or whatever, you know, more rare materials, dismantling less rare materials. And then going over to making these other components. So you need components, a combination of ma materials to make components. Um, and overall, that's what plays into what you need to going back to here okay i'm gonna take this off again going over here to make different uh, items or different projects what's it says here projects and these projects are what help you rank up your tier research level as well as giving you better items to use in game okay so uh for instance we go into our signature weapon i don't even have this unlocked yet because you need to be tier three to get the next upgrade so right now this is just a common long striker sniper rifle that's what they call a long striker uh same thing valora's got a shotgun halden's got this semi-automatic rifle and callie has a precision compound bow okay and then the next one here we got the different wild card weapon so wild card weapons kind of like it sounds it's just a weapon that each person gets to choose from to have in their arsenal on top of their signature weapon because if you know if they're playing Tarek, okay they're gonna be their signature weapon is a sniper rifle or they're playing Kali, a signature weapon is a bow but this one you don't know so if you push somebody they might have you know an smg that's just gonna rip you apart when you get close range um, but they also might not um, but you just you never know so anyways as you can see by like the signature weapons and these weapons here you have to you have to use the different materials and components and power and you have to wait after you select which one you want to use. So for instance, like I need, 
I need more wire before I can construct this. I want to see if there's something that I have available to make that I can show you guys. But it doesn't look like I do. Oh, I do here. Uh, so, for instance, I want to upgrade. Oh, I did have Haldens. So I used the Bionic Augmentation and the Healthy Germplasm. So, component. Okay, component and material. And I use those together to plus that to upgrade his defense. So if I go to Explorer, okay, so that's a permanent. Oh no, it is one or the other. So I want to say, I'm going to probably keep that. So I'm just going to set that for right now. But anyways, going back to the different components to research, let's go ahead and do, I'm going to do the radar blocker. Just because if your house is going to go down, there's no point. I mean, you get consumables to do that, so it's fine. So I go ahead, once I choose, once I see that I have enough to upgrade here, then what I'm going to do is I click on it and I can put it in one of two slots. It doesn't matter. These are just the different slots that you have available to research in. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it there. So now it says research in progress. So then as you can see, um, it's going to take six hours before it has available. Did use some power and now you wait. Okay. So uh, they don't have this unlocked yet, but it looks like you'll be able to make cosmetic items based on materials, which is dope because if they do a lot of different cosmetics, it'll be really cool to unlock those. Um, and, you know, if they make it high enough, they could put it at some astronomical level to unlock because I think Apex did similar thing with the in-game currency. So, I mean, I don't even care. just makes you want to grind the game rather than having to pay to unlock something. I mean, that's, you know, that's like what Fortnite does is you had to pay in order to get these skins rather than being able to just earn it. Like, that's one reason why I liked Halo so much is because by playing the game, like the Vidmaster achievements, that's rewarded you with in-game cosmetics that nobody else did. So, actually doing that is like, oh, you didn't just spend $10. You spent you know, 10 plus hours, or you played across multiple different Halo games in order to get that certain cosmetic. So, more rewarding. So, how you get those materials and components? You get boxes. Or you get some kind of a satchel that you pick up in the game, so it is a little bit based on luck as well, too. Sometimes you might come out with more, even if you did extract um, at a bottom, lower part of the totem pole. Um, but you come over to Salvage. You'll click on that. You'll see... There'll be items to uh, that pop up here. You click uh, like the box. You'll click deconstruct, and then it'll open up and show you all the different components and also materials that you got, whichever ones they may be. Okay, so a last bit uh, to invite your friends. It is crossplay, so you do just give them your special code here, and they can add you on whatever platform it is. It's a little buggy right now. I think they have fixed it a little bit. Um, but final touches before I show you guys some gameplay is if you go to, yeah, if you go to your explorers, each character, I don't necessarily know what the leveling it up necessarily means. Just kind of like how much you play that character at this time. Nothing crazy, but it's a game that, yes. The more you play, the better you're going to be going into the next game. So it does give you a little bit of a disadvantage if you're new to the game versus somebody that's played it for a little bit more? Yes. But does it make it more rewarding when you have earned your way towards killing somebody that's played this game a lot more and then extracting and ranking up your characters even more too? I think so. So if you get my drift, you know... It, it, it involves not just paying to win, which, you know, that's not necessarily what this game's about. It's you, you can't pay to get those materials or stuff like that. You have to play the game. So, yes, there might be somebody that's overpowered because, oh, shoot, they already have all their stuff unlocked. But they put in the time. So, it's got to put in the time. So, we're going to be diving into uh, one of my first matches. I think we extracted... Um, I think it's uh, with my buddy Michael. But I think this game has a lot of potential. 
Um, there's a lot going for it. So as long as they stay on top of it, they haven't been taking too long to where it's like, is this game going to die out or not? It's just kind of like, ooh, they're kind of just sitting in the background. We're waiting to see what they have to offer. And like I said, from when I played it in the alpha to this new early access, or I'd like to say like open beta, technically, they've come a long ways. So a lot of potential for this game. I like it. Give it a try again steam and epic and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below who your favorite character is what other stuff you'd like to see more on the channel if it's about scavengers or it's about something else but make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already also give me a follow on twitch and my other socials post a lot of tiktoks i know i need to make more youtube videos i'm trying guys i'm trying life life is hard sometimes uh, but we go live every monday wednesday and friday if you want to pop into the chat say what's up let me know. So till next time, guys, peace.